One, two, three, fuck it. Well, hello everybody. Welcome back. I am Anna. And today we're going to be reacting to episodes 11 and 12 of the third season of Community. Six seasons and a movie, everyone. We made it! Uh, we are having a Community movie and I am so lucky because I don't have to wait the many years that you all had to. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's very likely that I'll be able to, you know, calmly finish my reaction to the six seasons by the time the movie comes out next year. I I'm so excited. <laughs> Congratulations to the whole fandom, because you guys did it. I just started this right, but you've been at it for years. So, you know, I'm so happy that we got this movie. Now, <laughs> let's watch this. If I had the space, I would have served fresh fruit and sandwiches, and I would have got rid of that take a penny, leave a penny nonsense. If the good Lord wanted you to have a penny, you'd have one. Pierce, why do you look like a wealthy murderer? I look like an entrepreneur. Your guest has arrived. Threat level four. Your guest has arrived. It's not calibrated. Wireless racism. The future of the past is now. Why don't you put your money... What do you think, Shirley? Should I have my people call your people? I mean, not... Your people. I could think about it. Ooh. It's oh. Shirley Manning House. The year was 1991. Oh, Trey. For you, Shirley Bennett, marry me, Andre Bennett, again. Yes, yes, again. Yes. Shall I notify authorities? <laughs> My god, Pierce. This is the only intro I just never skip. I love it so much. Second one is okay, I guess. If I had to rank them, I'd go fourth, seventh, second, fifth, first, third, sixth. You're anti wedding now? No, she's just pro anti. No to everything you both said. What? Somebody tell Britta what an analogy is. I know what it is. It's like a thought with another thought's hat on. <laughs> Look, I can't get behind this marriage thing either. It was invented back when till death meant till you're first cold. I mean, life's too long to spend it with someone else. It's a sucker's game. It's a mutual cop-out. I mean, just nut up and die alone. Mm. Hello! Oh my god, oh, I'm so happy you for you! Glowing. I know! You're having your wedding in the study room? Our church has certain policies regarding things like second weddings and tight jeans and Calco cats. Um, Jeff, I was wondering if you would do us the honor of giving a toast at our wedding. Good idea. Jeff has a lot of thoughts about marriage. I would be honored. Mm. Every time I see a wedding idea I like, I put it in a little scrapbook. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Ooh. We can help, too. We just saw the inspectors. Be sure to get a DNA reading of your prospective mate. Inspector Spacetime ended up marrying himself as a baby. I, I think I got this. Everyone just come and relax <laughs> and behave normally. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Oh. That's the noise that people make when they're offended in all the movies that Annie rents. Oh. We'll try not to embarrass you at your... <laughs> For the man on the go who makes frequent stops. <gasps> Will somebody please call all the ambulances? I can't believe, Shirley. We should show up at this wedding and be the most normal people in the world. Yeah, I could go as normal man and you could be my trusty sidekick ordinario. <laughs> no. That's already weird. You'd be playing into our hand. We should just show up wearing boring gray suits with gray ties and gray shirts. We could dye our hair gray, and then we could lay down on the sidewalk and be invisible. You know, maybe Shirley's got a point. I have an idea. I'm feeling more normal already. Could I walk home? Yeah. Mm. All right. <laughs> My ninth grade English teacher used to say, there will always be a reason not to follow your dreams. At the time, he meant I was under the age of consent, but his words still apply. What? Are you sure? Jada, hi. Shirley, if that really is your excuse, I will plan your wedding for you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, my good God. Thank you for that. Where do you get up to my wedding? What if Annie helps? Oh, hey, guys. Can someone say... Shirley, do you take this man to be your business partner? I guess. Sure. <laughs> I had to shelve the trouser bench anyway. There are still some parts of the prototype that need to be extracted. Maybe you're misunderstanding? I mean, from my butt. 
No, we, we understood. Shirley, uh, Hawthorne wife's fired me. Do you have a pen? Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I cannot. Do you know someone that can buy a pin? Yes. <laughs> Same theme as every wedding. Conformity, blind participation, and patriarchal. What about pink? We don't call it. Happy? But it, that's a really beautiful arrangement. Color me lavender. Lavender means impressed. My God. Troy and Abbott being normal. You once convinced Troy that turtlenecks were made of turtles' necks. It's true, my superpower is that I... Okay, split up the next slide. That's me! Where'd I get all that money I'm holding? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you the... Well, then I'm writing this down. Hmm? Wait. A pen. Here's a pen. Britta, you're really good at this. I know. What's wrong with you? This may shock you, Annie, but I come from a long line of wives and mothers. Many do. But I ran away from it my whole life. I refused to give Santa a Christmas list because I didn't want to depend on any man for anything. And now look at me. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to make some man very happy someday. Ooh, easy. Slow down. Look, I'm sorry. I just don't believe in marriage. I do. It's inevitable. And how fiscal will the quarterly earnings be? Well, initially, the fiscal... Wait, that question makes no sense. I, I know. I just want to sound as good at business as you are. I probably shouldn't say this, but I cannot believe you learned all this at Greendale. You're very professional. I am, aren't I? I brought sodas so we can toast to our futures. Look at me now, Dad. Dad? Oh, my God, I'm supposed to be looking like a bride for my wedding rehearsal to the dad of my children. I'm coming, baby. That was an odd dot to connect. What's with you? Andre, sorry I'm late. Woman, I've been waiting for you for two hours. Oh, no, two I said that hours. Hours. I'm so sorry. Don't you? I'm sorry, Andre. But normal went out the door the day you did. Well, if we can't get back to the way things were, why the hell are we getting remarried? These shrimp are to die for. Hello, everyone. Shirley asked me to say something nice at her wedding. This is the rehearsal. Shut up, Leonard. Those teenage girls you play ping pong with are doing it ironically. Well, my daddy said he would stay with my mommy forever, and he left. Marriage is a lie. Nobody commits to this. Nobody stays with anybody forever, so why do we keep lying? I'm gonna stay with somebody forever. It's in my stupid DNA. I was born to be a wife, and that's all I'm ever gonna be. You expect anyone here to believe that? I don't care if anybody believes it, jackass. It's a fact. Prove it, ding dong! There are a lot of layers to this. It's almost too conceptual to follow, but... Yes? I promise to put your dreams before mine. I promise to bottle up my repulsion at the sight of your hair in the drain. I promise to earn no more than 70% of what you would make at the same job. What about babies? What about them? How many? Pick a number, dick, like it's up to me. What in God's name are you two doing? People can make all sorts of promises, but they never stick it out. It's not something you just stick out, man. All right, it's a risk that you take together. And you don't just promise it once. You gotta promise it every day. Yes, but the person you're making promises to is gonna change. You have to accept that. I do. But do you promise to be patient when that person's stereo business takes a little while to get off the ground? I do, but do you accept that 10 years is more than a little while and that iPods aren't going away and maybe it's time to let somebody else take the lead? I do. You do? Yes. Baby, I swear I do. Then I promise I will do whatever it takes to make this work forever. <laughs> well, in that case, let's rehearse this bad boy. Mm -hmm. Actually, let's we rehearse just the marry bad each boy. other. What sort of creature would do a dance called the Lindbergh Lean? Blowguns? Because the good news is the board loved your sandwich shop idea. <laughs> The bad news is, they made a few calls and sold the space to Subway the Sandwich Place. What? I'm a blast at weddings. No, I bet he is. I fucking bet he is. Oh, baby Ben got to be baby Jesus in our church's nativity play. And Andre was Joseph, and Jordan was one of the wise men, and I was in charge of casting. I digitized my interest. For our midterm, we actually get to diagnose a fellow student with something. Don't you do way too much of that already? Accusational opposition disorder. 
Over break, I took the plunge and started seeing a new shrink. What? Hello? Hello. Anyway, I talked about my dad. You are a textbook narcissist. I'm an exceptional narcissist, Britta. Ooh, excuse me. I didn't kill my wife! I don't care. Stop that fugitive! Over break, Abed realized he could hire celebrity impersonators from a service for his own personal use. He's been doing it a lot. He's not hurting anybody. He just... Intervention? 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 No! You guys need to stop intervention. Intervention? Breathe! Oh! Oh! Jank, they're just acting! Oh, sorry. I got a friend at the zoo. What is this I hear about a tranquilizer gun? If you had hit a small student, they could have died. I wouldn't do that. Just... We're broke, Ben. We now get 80% of our electricity from that apartment building across the street. Thank you, sir. You won't regret this unless I rise up against you. I don't know why I said that. This apple is your ego. Imagine it expanding to the point of critical mass, taking over your whole personality, making you an uncontrollable monster. Britta, how did an apple make that clear? Imagine it expanding? Use a balloon. I was on my way to lunch. Why are you trying to take this away? Ah, oh, welcome back, Jeffrey. How was your, oh, oh, oh. Oh my God, even his shadow. Look at his shadow! Oh. You owe me three grand, pal. Cool. Put it on my account. <laughs> Holy crap, you'd make an amazing Seacrest. Very kind, thank you. You're actually a lot taller than Seacrest. You've, you've actually got a sharper jaw, too. You're actually more handsome than the guy that's famous for being handsome. <clears throat> Jeff? Got an Oprah. Oh. And sitting next to her is Judy Garland or uh, Anne Hathaway. Got a few extra teeth. Wow, this is rare. Both versions of Michael Jackson. If you guys work this gig for me, for six hours, we'll call it even. Sounds fun. Abed, Vinny, six can hours? we have a minute to talk? All we had was dumb reality before we met that man. And he's made all of our lives better than reality. But here's the deal. Um, if you guys mess this up, then his debt is overdue. And I don't send another bill. No. I send two guys that look a lot like Ving Rhames and Michael Chiklis, and they do a very convincing impression of breaking your friend's legs. Fuck. Don't worry. That thing in the cafeteria freaks me out, so I talked to my shrink and she doubled my dosage. What? Jeff, that's insane. I thought so too, but after I took that extra pill, it seemed like a great idea. Stop arguing. If you have anything else to say, say it in a high-pitched voice while walking backwards. Jeff is in grave danger! <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't believe anybody hired you to impersonate Burt Reynolds. Why not? Do I have to say it? I bet we have to do this right or Vinny won't clear your debt. Troy, who cares about money? Look around, this is why we're alive. Ooh, fake Lorenzo Lamas, let's go. You're actually more handsome than the guy who's famous for being handsome. young man interested in a college credit? Sure, right. <laughs> I haven't been dipped like that since my last divorce. Britta! You have an unusually high butt crack. Thank you. To me, you'd win every single award. There's awards? A fake Morgan Freeman and fake Bono. You know, fake Bono, algebra can be tough. Coolest skateboard tricks. Oh no, Howie he's gonna Schwartz. blow it. He's gonna fucking blow it. Look at me! Look at me! Oh God! I love you, Dad. I knew you'd invite the Hulk. You're lucky. <laughs> and your friend's debt is paid. So, we just spent our whole night paying off your debt, and you're blowing money on a patch Adams? It's two for one. We're doing Popeye next. Ah, ga, 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 ga. Get him some spinach. Get out! You have to
to stop running celebrity impersonators. Vinny was gonna break both of your legs. I had to work really hard to help you. But that's what you wanted to do. Yes. But I can't do what I want to do? I guess not. Not all the time. Sometimes you're just gonna have to trust that I know better about stuff. I don't know if I can do that. Then I guess you're gonna have to trust that... You're gonna have to trust me. Still best friends. Always. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. You still gonna go to the Dreamatorium? Oh. Yeah, but I think I'm gonna play by myself right now, if that's okay. Cool. Okay. Fastball, you're the greatest! Woo! You are way out of my league, diagnostically speaking. I'm gonna go with someone a little less complicated. Like Abed. Hi. Gentlemen! Who's ready to Chang the world? Chang! 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 All hail Chang! That's dangerous. One, well, Chang two, running three, off three, like that is one. fucking dangerous. <laughs> Oh my god, he has a mini army now of kids. God knows what he'll do with that. I fear for the relationship with Abed and Troy, you know, like Abed being just so special and not really aware of everything that has to happen in the real world. And now, you know, Troy having to look out for him. Um, and just the, the fact that he not do that he did not do the, the special handshake at the end before going to the dreamatorium. I hope they're okay. I hope their relationship is okay because it's, it's one of the best things about the show, you know? They just being not normal and just dreaming and just being themselves. They love them. Alright guys, so this was it for today's video. I really hope you liked it. Tell me how you feel about it in the comments down below. I love hearing from you. Thank you very much for joining me. Have a great day and I'll be seeing you around.